గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వెల్కమ్ టు లీగల్ మ్యాటర్స్ బై సాయిబాబు శంకర్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఏ కేసు లా వేర్ ద సుప్రీం కోర్ట్ వాజ్ షాక్డ్ టు సీ దట్ ఇట్స్ ఆర్డర్స్ ఆర్ ఫ్యాబ్రికేటెడ్ ది ఎస్ఎల్పి ఇన్ఫ్యాక్ట్ వాజ్ డిస్మిస్డ్ in the 6th month of 2022 by justice ram subramanyam and another honorable justice of supreme court but the advocate gave a copy of admission to the appellant in this particular case how this thing happened there is a clear case of professional ethics you can read the case as madan mohan agarwal sorry manish madan mohan agarwal and others Manish, Mother, Mohan and Agarwal versus <coughs> Sachanarayan, Dhuli Chand Ji, Agarwal and others. Sachanarayan, Dhuli Chand, Agarwal and others. This is an appeal from the order, from the judgment given by the Bombay High Court Nagpur bench. the genesis of the case is like this sachanarayan dhuli chand ji agarwal adas they have purchased a property from the father of manish madan mohan agarwal and others right so who executed a sale deed on 27/7/2016 in khata number or survey number 121 by 1 so the defendant's father here appellant's father he has written a sale deed to this satyanarayan dulchan ji and when he asked them to fulfill or to specifically perform the contractual obligation of the sale deed then the sons of the particular man they are d2 to d4 they are not agreeable but d1 who is their cousin he has effected compromise with uh, sachanarayan the result of compromise is 1 by 5th of undivided share now it is divided it has gone to the satyanarayan dulchand ji and uh, <coughs> when they filed a civil case when sachanarayan filed a civil case it was compromised by in this manner outside the court they affected compromise ultimately they informed the court that they affected compromise so case was uh, dismissed but <coughs> this is not agreeable to the others d2 to d4 who are the actual sons of uh, the so called Manish Madan Mohan Agarwal ji then they approached the high court ultimately high court also did not agree the matter came to the level of the supreme court here already supreme court has come to the conclusion that they don't interfere because the matter is decided the sale agreement was on 27/7/2016 the maximum period is 3 years so if the others have got any objection they should have raised the issue within 3 years after all the things are over <coughs> when he has come for the so called execution or the specific performance now you cannot take the law that to <coughs> they have affected compromise so we don't want to interfere this is the decision slp dismissed but in my view the lawyer would have given a copy stating that supreme court allowed the slp fabricated a car and when the matter came before another bench on 22nd august 2023 the supreme court grew suspicious what is this because there are two orders of the supreme court one is the dismissal order appendix a annexure b is the allowing order the supreme court same bench allowed and it is allowed how can it happen just not possible they got it out immediately they issued notice to the advocate and the advocate on behalf of the so called defendants d2 to d4 priti mishra she is a lady 
<laughs> she did not attend the court. She has never come forward before the court. Her character is, her role is doubtful. We can't fix her. Her role is doubtful. Now, Honorable Supreme Court of India asked the registry, registrar judicial, to conduct an inquiry. And uh, when the inquiry discloses that uh, the fabrication or forgery or the supply of the so called uh, fake document is proved, they have, can give a report to the police station. Yesterday, when the matter on uh, 27th, when the matter came before uh, the so called uh, Supreme Court, they have confirmed that yes, there is a material to say that the record is fabricated. Fake certificate or fake SLP has been prepared. So therefore, they have asked the registry to be, give a complaint in the jurisdictional police station. If necessary, the role of the advocate may also be as a time. So this is the situation. In this case, you have to learn two aspects. One, anything is susceptible to the so-called forgery. You can't expect that Supreme Court judgment, Supreme Court orders cannot be forged. Yes, they have shown it. Second thing is, so the culpability never takes away. Definitely it will find a place. They have found it. Now they are liable for 420B, 471, 468. So whatever sections they are applicable, of course the jurisdiction police will apply the law. And secondly, some things, these things will happen. In the year 1997, when I was working in Nello, at the time, there was a Supreme Court judge by name Sri Venkatram Redgar. He is from Allur village of Nalok. He visited the district chair at that particular point of time. I just casually told him, yeah, Milad, basing on your orders, we have released that Bucharat Palam Dasarad Ram Reddy. And he said, I did give orders. No, I didn't give. Then he has gone back, checked up and found that it was a forged order addressed to the district jail in Lahore. and a case was registered we uh, have found the person responsible ultimately the lowest division lowest clerk in the high court who has stooped down to 500 rupees at the particular point of time who has supplied the high court paper on which high court paper with stamp on which our people typed the order and sent it to the jail authorities as a result of which we released him such things do happen. So, should not happen. We must be very, very careful. Third point, don't uh, try to misinterpret the so-called orders. Here, the advocate, I am sure, to the, for the satisfaction of the client, she might have given the fake order. We don't know the fact, but anyway, how the fake order has come into existence, it will be revealed during the investigation. So with this I am concluding. Please read the uh, the matter is posted to 1st November 2023. So if any important issue comes to light I will definitely inform you through another video. Till such time I am stopping. Thank you. Bye bye.